Hello world, welcome to the very final episode of the Oracle SQL series. You may be wondering that Motevi, yes, I have learned SQL, but I've been using Oracle. But if I go to a place where they don't use Oracle, maybe they're using another database platform. Do I need to relearn everything from the start? My answer is no. I'm going to prove it to you that you can use all other database platforms by using the skills of learned in this series. This is just like a bonus episode, just to show you that. We are going to use Oracle and we compare it to two most popular database platforms, which is Postgres and MySQL by the time of this recording. So we are going to use the three platforms to create a table, then we shall insert some sample data, then we shall update, delete, and retrieve as well as we shall cover some little filtering to show you that indeed what we have covered you can apply to any other database platform even if you have learned on the SQL for Oracle. On my left I have Oracle and then on my right I have another popular database platform which is Postgres. They both use command line. Just like we've been watching when I'm connecting to Oracle I use the keyword connect then the username and the password then I get connected so on my right I have Postgres let me also connect I want to connect to a database called HR which I already created before the start of this session then you can see that I am now connected if I want to see the tables available in Oracle I use the select star from tab then in Postgres I'll use a command D and you see that we don't have any tables so we're going to create just one table called sample with just the name and the data type of virtual 12 characters and then also have the ID you can see that instead of calling it number this side we are calling it the integer and you don't have to specify the number of characters then we have the primary key constraint so when I run this you can see that the table has been created you can see just the minor change of integer. I can get the same command here and I take it to Oracle. So when I run this, I need to just change this from integer to number. You can see that the table has also been created. I'm using the same command in Oracle and at the same time in Postgres. If I want to enter some data in this table, I can just insert that into sample I can this statement will insert data into the table called sample and when I run you can see that the command really works the same command we can even try to enter some data some more data and call this maybe Nokia and then another one called Samsung. So when we get this, the same command, we can use this to run in Oracle. So when I run, you can see that the same command, the same exact command we have been using in Oracle, is also the same command we are also using in Postgres, and they are really working well. They are really working well. You see, we may want to see the data that is available. This information we have inserted into these tables. And just select stuff from a table called sample. You can see that the results are returned. I get the same command, paste it in Oracle, boom, the results are also returned. I can even filter out something. I can say, I need only those where the ID between one and two boom works get the same command filter it in oracle boom the same command it works let us try to update something using here in my oracle you said update then the table called sample and we are setting the name to Techno, uh, where 
the ID is equal to 2. When you run, the row has been updated. We get the same command. Let us paste it here in Postgres. Boom, it works. So when we select, again, you can see that we have instead of instead of uh, instead of Nokia, we now have Techno. The same happens even in Oracle. When I update this, you can see that do the same output. I can decide to delete a record and just say delete from sample where the ID is equal to 3. And when I run this, it works. When I get the same command and I paste it here, I run, you can see that the same command has worked. And indeed, when I select this, item number three has been deleted so you can see that the same command we can use when we are creating updating and such just a minor change in data types and some simple simple commands like the select star from tab where in this case we are using another command like forward slash d let us compare oracle to another database platform maybe called we call mysql to get it i have it here and it also has this command line environment. Now let me leave the SQL. Let me leave the Postgres here. Now this one is uh, MySQL. It's for MySQL I. So the password. And you can see that I'm now welcome to my SQL monitor command line. So this is another database platform so popular, especially for web designing. It's called MySQL. Let us check for the databases available. Have show database. I have these databases. I'm going to use the HR. So to use HR, I just say use HR. So if I want to see the tables available, in Oracle we say select stuff from tab. Here we say show tables. And you see that we don't have any table. We can create one table using these commands. Let us just pick this one. We have been using and we bring it here this time. It doesn't accept number, it accept int. So you can see that when we change it to int, it is now okay. So when we check for the tables, you can see that now we have one table called sample. Have you seen that? The data type, int, this one is number, the other one is integer. So that is just the minor change. We can decide to also insert records in this one. Let me put it here. Let me just pick this. Okay. When I paste it, you can see that query OK. I can also pick this one. So paste it here, query OK, then another one, the final one, query OK. So when you select stuff from sample, this is another database platform, but commands are really working. So you can see that we have three records. Then we may decide to also use this between, but any filtering can work. All the filters we used, you can see that now I have only two returned whose ID is between one and two. I can decide to update. Yes, copying and pasting. Maybe may say I change something. You can see that one row has been changed, the row matched one, there is no warning. So when I select stuff from tab, indeed the record has been changed from Nokia to Techno. I can decide to also delete. And when I delete, you can see that it has been affected. So if I'm to run again, you can see that that record is not there. You can just decide to add a table, a column, and say alter table called sample add, and then I specify the column maybe uh, supplier, and then it will be. Virtual so 
and when I run this you can see that it has been affected so we have added this supplier I can get the same command and then I paste it here and it works let me you can see that the commands are really working the commands are really working well and just knowing one command just knowing one flavor of SQL is enough for you to work with almost all other database platforms as long as they are relational so you don't need to worry about that I have learned SQL now what am I going to do I can decide to delete this table so I just say delete drop table sample just like we learned it it's been affected can do the same even here affected and I come to my Postgres affected so in summary once you know the one flavor of SQL you can work with all other flavors of SQL you don't need to worry it is the same thing just minor changes like short, short table, short databases, just for business purposes. You know? and, and talking of business, a subscription to this channel won't be a business. All right, so we are really excited that you have been part of this series from the first episode to the very last episode. We hope, I hope, I hope you learned a lot and I'm really excited to see you going and adventuring other waters you can decide to go into fields that require SQL for instance for example data analysis or data science or web programming or, or back-end development any field you choose it will be beneficial to you any field you choose you won't regret so I thank you so much you can visit my website at www.bimtv.com you can also follow me on Twitter at find b at find underscore bmo tv so that's it for this series and we shall meet and we shall meet in other series thank you so much